Hi, welcome back. We're here with the cast of The Amazing Spider-Man. We're here with director Mark Webb, Jamie Foxx, Andrew Garfield, and Dane DeHaan. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Are you ready for Hall H in a couple of hours? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Tell me what we're going to see. <laughs> what are we right gonna see? We're going to see uh, a little bit of footage. We're going to see a little bit of uh, actor. Actor up there. There will be actors. Uh -huh. And we'll talk about Spider-Man. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> or RoboCop. We haven't decided yet. <laughs> we're going to do a panel entirely about RoboCop. I want to talk about Cloudy with a Chance of Meatball. <laughs> Another Sony picture. That's also on our um, I feel like you promised that you would tell me everything that happened in the movie once we got to San Diego. Did I promise that? I you know. clever see these people. They, 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 they're always one step ahead of you. Um, I, I will not tell you okay, everything about the fair. movie. We're going to be intentionally coy and ambiguous. Well, tell us a little bit what we should know about this one. I think, uh, you know, this movie is, uh, I think, um, it, it's one of the most exciting if not the most exciting chapter in Peter Parker's life. And it's where we're coming into this. We've sort of gone through the origin story. And Spider-Man is incredibly great at being Spider-Man at the beginning of this movie. And so we have to come up with uh, obstacles and villains that are uh, up to the task. And I think what we've got with uh, uh, Jamie Foxx here is Electro, which is, I think, one of the most powerful. He's a godlike villain. And I think that the way they uh, go at each other in the film is is going to be really exciting and really fun. Um, and then, of course, we have Dane, who is uh, playing Harry Osborn, uh, and, and, and Peter's uh, conflicts with, with and, and love and respect and brotherhood with, with, uh, with uh, Harry is going to be another interesting dynamic to that character that we just haven't seen before. There's a lot going on in this movie, I feel like. Yeah, but not too much. Just the right amount. Just the right amount of stuff. Um, so Jamie, there you are on the pillow, Electro. Um, when I talked to you before, you said you there was a no-brainer to play Electro. I mean, it's just humbling, you know, and it's crazy. We had a moment when I actually saw him in the suit, a little bit of a tear <laughs> right here, and I said, yo, this is crazy. It's like this, you know, Spider-Man has been around. As a matter of fact, we was watching this first pilot episode on television the other day. <laughs> So look how long this has been around and how yeah. to be able to don these characters is amazing. But what I wanted to do though, I really wanted to be a formidable opponent. I think that the way March is shooting now and, and has been shooting this, is that now Spider-Man really has a challenge. And I took the Electro character from a character that I actually met out. I, I was in a pinch one day and this sort of gangster type dude helped me out with a situation. And once I once he helped me out, every club I went to, I had to get him in and this whole thing. <laughs> so it's basically sort of like, without giving things away, that's what Electro is. It's like he thought that Spider-Man was his boy, was his partner. And so now when it's not, uh, he's really angry at him. And I think, I think that's what's going to make people want to come see him be at his best. And he has to be at his best or he's going to perish. And I right. think that's what's going to be cool about the flip. And it's, it's also cool, I know we talked about this too, that the villains are never just, it's never black and white. That it's always, there's what always like, it's not black and white, like villainy. What do you like. say about everything? <laughs> <laughs> just okay. that, very that, tender time right now. Very tender time right now. <laughs> um, but just know all the Marvel, like I love that the enemies, that they're they're so layered and complicated. It's yeah. not just pure evil or pure good. Everybody has Yeah, if you have, layers. If you, to understand Electro, uh, you really have to understand Max Dillon and where Max Dillon comes from. Who, right. and, and he is a huge Spider-Man fan, yeah. you know, He's and, and, and what you discover and what we explore is the shadow side of admiration and what that can turn into. And, and it's, I mean, heroes and villains have so much in common. Yeah. Right. And, 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 you know, these, I think Max Dillon was not shown enough love by the people that should have shown him love. Yeah. Right. And it, that, that sort of anger, that sense of shame and, and humiliation festers into something uh, brutal. And I think, you know, that sense of unworthiness or that sense of shame is a precursor to one of two things. Either acts of heroism or acts of destruction. Right. Mm. And your character is what defines that. And mm. and, and these uh, uh, these two uh, uh, incredibly powerful creatures go head to head in, a, in a, I think, epic uh, epic battles. Yeah, Andrew, how was it going head to head with Jamie Foxx? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, I have to say it was great because he's right here. <laughs> he's sitting right there. It's very and, awkward. And he will not. hurt me. Yeah. If yeah. I don't. No, no, he wouldn't. You know, and and I and I and I mean it. You know, it's it's I've I've been a fan of of. of Jamie since, oh my God, since you know, 
before he was even doing movies, you know. So it's so it's uh, sorry, I'm embarrassed now to say that in front of you, but I mean, it's like, you know, it's <laughs> you know, he's just such a talent, and uh, it's it was a coup that, that that it was, and so lucky that he is he's a Spider-Man fan. Yeah. Um, and 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 if you don't mind me saying, his his daughter is a Spider-Man oh, fan. Man, my four-year-old yeah. is crazy. Right Did I just now. see her downstairs? Yeah, she's down. She's got she's a Spider-Man costume. She's the cutest thing in the world. Yes. Yeah, thank you. And she. He was so gracious to you know, take pictures with her and make her feel at home. And he would let her sit on the set with her cos Spider-Man costume. Yeah, on. she gave me notes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know if Spider-Man would move like that. Yeah. Yeah. More like elbow would be up. I'm like, That's right. Andrew. That's, um, right. That's right. No, I'd listen. I'd listen. And she'd be in the suit while she would be in the suit. <laughs> <notes. laughs> but it's the passion, you know. And I, I can yeah. say that for everyone on this couch that it's like, you know, to to work with these guys and, and it is that we all have the same passion for 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 this character and and all the characters that we're all playing and, and the story itself and I think without that it's it's um it's kind of pointless you know right. so to, to it's a pointless endeavor and I mean that you know, so so that's my response to that yeah that's good and Dean did you did you grow up reading the comics as well uh, I didn't grow up reading the comics but I definitely grew up like dressing like superheroes <laughs> <laughs> and pretending I was like every day or just for Halloween I'd say like every day <laughs> you know? yeah. Uh, you know, like whether it was uh, dressing up as Spider-Man or like dressing up as Superman and like wearing my underwear on like the outside of my pajamas. You know? I was always thinking. That's how he screams. <laughs> <laughs> One step ahead. Yeah. <laughs> well, how was it joining the cast this time around? I know um, Jamie is a very big fan of yours. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's been, uh, it, was, it was such an incredible experience and uh, I didn't think that doing a movie this big could be as fun and fulfilling as this movie was, but uh, I think that it was just filled with such great people and everyone was like there to do it and to do it right. That type of car. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's one of the best, most fun parts about the, the, the experience. For, for me, for Spider-Man, is getting to work with actors of this caliber, you know yeah. what I mean? And getting to people to, to, keeping the spectacle and the hugeness of it, but also Really paying attention to focusing on the nuance and the details of little, little, the little moments, which is why people love Spider-Man in the first place. It's the Peter Parker thing. It's the little domestic nuances that you get to, idiosyncrasies that you get to uh, play around with that are they're making so much fun. Yeah, I mean, I can always like enjoy a superhero movie, but in order to really love it, there has to be like real heart underneath it. You know, it can't all just be explosions and big fights and. And that kind of thing, like that's incredibly important in telling these stories. But without heart behind it, uh, it's not a whole thing. And hopefully, that's what we've captured in in the Amazing Spider-Man Two. Oh, very nicely done. Well done. Well done. Well, yeah, this is not your first <laughs> that's time. Cut. That's cut. He, just, he, just, he read it all back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we are sadly out of time. But thank you guys for coming in, thank and you. we'll be thank right you. back. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so this is the part where we talk. Yeah.